has no bars. Why does it keep doing this? Okay? Yeah, you're pushing the button. So, you choose not to pay attention today. Don't expect mercy. Don't expect kindness. What is it, what is it doing? I'm paying attention to expect kindness Wednesday. Nah, I wouldn't even count on that because, you know, it's kind of like. If I just pay attention and you'll be fine. I'd probably draw a smiley face next to it. I'll do that. And postpone the test till Thursday. Do I do the right trade? Yes. You do it, Mark. I I would not count on mercy. Where are the. You're trying this one. Yes. They're on my website under the videos. <laughs> they will be, on, they will be up there under the test review as well. Am I on the right track still? Yes, ma'am. You're doing fine. So the actual notes that you did on the books are on. They're not up yet, but they will. Before yeah, before Wednesday, because they, we're generating a review right now. We're generating a review right now. Mm -hmm. Here's a little sad thing, like the P. Okay. It'd be like this thing. Uh huh. What do you do with that? And Good stuff if you know the rules. Well, I don't really know. Okay, and then, so negative three. I think y'all should learn the rules. That would be oh, the best thing. Some, there's something about it. I mean, the vertical asset would be negative three. Or, Listen up. Yeah, that would be Listen up. What makes a zero on the graph? It's a fraction. What makes a fraction equal zero? The Q of X is zero. Oh, it's not that. Listen. Top is equal to zero, not the bottom. Okay? Top is equal to zero, not the bottom. What number? Listen. Negative three. Negative three makes the top zero, not the bottom. So that means there is a zero. The function is zero, or there's an x-intercept where x equals negative three. Negative three. Okay. So, what is that? so an x-intercept is a point zero. on the x-axis, mm -hmm. or zero is just an x-value that you plug in to get zero. So what would that be? Your zero is what? Negative x three. Your zero is x equals negative three. We just write zero equals x equals zero. X equals negative three. And then your horizontal. Now. Uh, you can do your horizontal ass until now if you want to. How many points did I just get for Your horizontal ass until is four. How do you do the horizontal ass until? Um, that is. No. Who said that? Uh, the degree of P. Okay, well, you know about degree of P and degree of Q. No horizontal. No. It's the leading coefficient. So, leading coefficient over the leading coefficient. It's a horizontal line, so what's its equation look like? Two y. y equals leading coefficient over leading coefficient. That's your horizontal asymptote. Two over three. So there's a horizontal asymptote. Y equals two. Okay, y is vertical asymptote. Because it's a horizontal line. Because it's a horizontal line. Because it's a horizontal line. The equation of a horizontal line. Y equals some number. We're looking for the vertical asymptote. Vertical asymptote. What makes a vertical asymptote? Whatever makes the top something at the bottom zero. The top bottom zero, top. not the top. What number makes the bottom zero, not the top? Two. Right, this is a vertical asymptote. It's a vertical line. What's the equation of vertical line? Of line? X, X equals. X equals. You cannot just put two. That's a number. It's not a vertical line. You've got to put X equals two. It's got to be a vertical line. That's one of my pet peeves. So Even Jordan came in here and said that was one of his pet peeves. So it's up. Yes. <laughs> when you write a number down for vertical line, it goes one of them. Oh, don't take no one. Okay, so the whole is negative 100. Though. All right. Now, what makes a whole? They're both zero. zero. Okay, they're both zero. 
So negative, that's negative where one. x one. equals negative one. Where x negative equals one. negative one, but a hole is a point. It's a point. It's not like missing. Well, we gotta find it. Let's write down x equals negative one, and we're gonna find the y. Yeah, how do we find the y? That's exactly right. You bring this down, cancel the common factors, and then plug in this x, and what's left? Okay, so what? Bring this down, <laughs> copy. Cancel those, and it's going to be 2 times x plus 3 over 3 times x plus 2. There you go, copy. Uh -huh. With the mouse. 2 x plus 1 is on the top. Would you cancel out all 3 of the x plus 1s or just 2 of No. And that's going to mess us up on that. Uh, on top. That's a good question. If they're on bottom. If they're on bottom, if you got more on bottom than you have on top, you still want to cancel out one for one, it gives you a vertical axis of right? Okay? Uh, if it was on top, I wonder what would happen. So since there's this one, they cancel out. I think there would still be a hole. If it was on top, there's more on top than there was on bottom. But it would be a hole where Y equals zero. It would be a hole on the X axis. I'll double check that and find out for you before tomorrow. Okay, Scott? All right, cancel your compact. Put Y equals over there. And then now plug in negative one for what's left. And that will give you the y value of your home. Two, 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 So then there's a hole, the point that's missing from this graph is the point negative one, negative four ninths. That's the point that's missing, that's the hole. So it's... Yeah, that's what I got. Comma four ninths? Negative four ninths. There you go. That's the hole. Right. You can kill it, Zach. How many minutes is that? 741.